see if I can get this set up. There we go. I'm loud. Sorry. What's up, Gomez? I'm gonna plug in some power supply here. How's everyone doing? Yeah, thank you for the like. Gonna give it a couple minutes. Hmm. Thank you, Gomez. Yeah, share the link, bro. What's up, Madowix? I anxiously awaited and stalked my doorway as the mailman was taunting me down the fucking street earlier when playing his brand new Red Dead Redemption that was gifted to him from us, the Mod Squad. Calera! <laughs> You're watching my challenge at work? Don't get in trouble for that, alright? So yeah, Mod Squad, appreciate you guys showing up. Thank you for the likes. This is the big one. Uh, you guys can't see it. Yeah. I figured I'd rep this shirt because you, you guys see my video. I destroyed that ramen. Hey, Madawix, I'm going to let you know. That's between you and Ted. Yes, um, Ted's mods. But he gives the green light. We just troll slap. So we regulate the chats and make sure everything stays good and clean and fun for everybody. Whatever is between you and Ted, that's what it is. I, I'm not interested in what happened, Matt Wicks. Really, I'm not. Okay. You know, Matt Wicks, don't push the issue. I don't have any moderators, but I will boot. I can do that while I'm on live. Like I said, that's between you and Ted. I got a tight, pretty tight. I'm not going to disrespect that. If you got history with them, that's your guys' history. Cool. Thank you, Madwix. Yeah, I got my Mod Squad buddies up in here. So, hey, Gomez, did you let uh, Jamie and Crapper and Spooky know? Um, I think Toronto was in earlier. I'm going to do all the moderations later. Um, I'm just straight up on my phone. I'm waiting for my laptop. Have I brought Red Dead? No. <laughs> Personally, I don't own any type of gaming system. Not yet. Um, I'm going to be... Waiting for certain things and certain events, or if you want to help contribute toward a game system, I'll start game streaming. You know, links in the description down below for my PayPal. You know, I appreciate all donations to help the channel grow. It is growing phenomenally. I'm waiting for Blind, uh, blind Lemon Mellow Jello to show up. There's a PS4 Pro that I'm looking at, it's the Ultimate Pro Edition. And the price on it's pretty up there, so it's going to take quite a few donations and a little while to get that. Yeah, I work a couple jobs, but I'm a single dad. I got responsibilities to take care of things, so my responsibilities always come first before entertainment. That's just the way life is. But I know what's in here, and it's it's still taped like. Yeah, but Ted and I have talked. He's given me an idea of what's in here. And it, for me, this is a huge special edition unboxing because there's something in here other than what he's already talked about on the live streams and um, in chats. What's up, Modern Prospector? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming in. You know, share with your friends, share with your subs. Um, let everybody know, you know, wicked ones. I got something brewing and stewing, and y'all saw it. And 
I can smell it right here. I'm in the living room. Um, honestly, I wanted to wait to do this unboxing until tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Calera, that'd be sick. If I can get $400 in donations, I'd be going down to pick it up or I'd Amazon that shit real quick. Because, hell yeah, I would love to game with Ted. I mean, we'd get down and we'd talk, we'd talk mad shit to the fucking dookie nice, you know, den producers, I call them. Uh, his trolls are going to absolutely hate the mod squad. Um, the PS4 Pro Red Dead Edition, it's just like the PS4 Pro. It's a one terabyte just with the um, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Decals. You know, like you've seen Battlefront, you've seen Call of Duty, you've seen all those different editions having different types of covers and stuff. Same thing for this one. But the PS4 I'm looking at is top, top shelf. You know, you got your top shelf. This one's top, top. This one's up there. So I know, I think Ted's eating dinner with the wifey right now. So I'm just going to chat it up a little bit. Um, Because hell yeah, I want Ted in here. I think I sent him a link when I was trying to make the other one. Um, I looked on Amazon, Calera. I swear I've seen the other edition that I'm looking into and we're talking almost a grand. But this is a ultimate pack edition, comes with the headphones, the mic, um, the camera, everything. I mean, all gear PS4. I guess you'd call it the ultimate pro. I don't know, all I seen was a price tag and I was like, oh, I got something to work for. You know, guys, my birthday's in February. Wait, wait, nudge, nudge. You know, we... <laughs> us mods, we've become a tight-knit group. Um, yeah, I heard about Xbox One, and I'm not too... Uh, Matterwix, it comes with the VR headset. That's why, you know, in part, it's a grand. Well, Gomez, Matterwix, looks like y'all are going to have to convert to PS4. Hate to say it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't hate to say it right now. All right. Yeah, Clara, that's right here. Hi, Jamie. This is everything's all blacked out out of respect. You know, he did the same thing to my package earlier. So, yeah, you can't see nothing. I, I double, triple layered that Sharpie even. I'll fight you for birthdays, Gomez. You and I will go down in the chat. We'll battle it out there. How about that? Yeah, you've mentioned that, Maddowix. Like, Modern Prospector, never PS4 for you? Okay, you can, st you can stay on the sucks box. That's fine. <laughs> that is so mean. Well, the Xbox sucked after Xbox One, so... Or, yeah, the Xbox One. After that, when they went to the new version, it just sucked. Absolutely sucked. They were, like, accrediting all the gameplay and every that. What the hell? You didn't get a notification? Well, your ass should have been in the chat, crapper. And I'm sure Gomez posted a link in the chat, so. I'm anxious for this box. Yeah, PS2 was pretty bomb. Um, my favorite game on PS2 was, strangely enough, Final Fantasy VIII. I like Final Fantasy VII, but I like Final Fantasy VIII. That, the storyline I really enjoyed. Yeah, see? No, I was never a Tomb Raider fan, Clara. I got an oddball palette, like... I never jumped on the 007 train when uh, Nintendo 64 had it. Yes, hit my like button. You know what? I already see the love, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, everybody that's in here, holy cow. Just about the whole entire mod squad. You know, Spooky, 
and Toronto, and we'd have the Mod Squad in here. Oh, and a couple others that haven't joined the Mod Squad chat yet. We got to get those guys in there, guys. So during the day, pay attention to the other moderators that Ted has, and make sure you get them the links for the Mod Squad chat. You know, we're one big crew for Ted. It's. <laughs> Hey, Spooky in Toronto. Yeah, I could read the chat. Are they reading the chat? I know one of you two can say hi. Two buttons, or three buttons. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I got a weird sense of sarcasm today. I, today's been kind of an oddball day for me. Um, kind of had a weird mood this morning. Well, thank you, Calera. You know, I think I subbed you, even though you're not a content creator. That was like... A month ago already no croppers better half is not mia she's the next comment after you prospector now mind you guys there's about a 10 second to 20 second delay between when you guys actually send the chat the text to when i actually get to read it yeah she's the little kitty icon what are you doing Giving hugs? Come here. Come real quick. My little munchkin wants to give me a good night hug. Good night. 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 All right. Yeah, she's got school in the morning, so. Yeah. Thank you. You didn't notice the name change, Modern? She kept the avatar the same. That was a giveaway. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be cool today and use a knife because I got scissors right here on hand from all the presents I've wrapped. I'm just waiting for Ted. This, this is a one-on-one -on -one appreciation for, you know, this is the last shirt. Me and Toronto got the last two FBI shirts and... It's disappointing that the Fire Breathing Idiot channel is blocked until February. You know. And other things that are in here. Like, I told Ted, or at least I mentioned, right now I'm kind of blurry on my thoughts because I stuff in the kitchen. It's, it's already reeking out the house. So, Ted, just let me know when you're in here. Yes, Ted's fashionably late. He's coming in with style. <laughs> but, yeah, I know. I think there's three items in this box. I'm going to guesstimate. If there's more, cool. If not, cool. But I know there's three. The shirt, the capsaicin extract, and one more thing. And that last thing it's got a huge memory with me. The other item in here has got a huge memory because I witnessed it. Like I wasn't there in Ted's physical presence, but I was on his live stream at the time. Crapper, you're getting about as nervous as a schizophrenic about my challenge tomorrow and I'm the one doing it. But yeah, there's something in here that I don't want to say it's sentimental to me, but it's honorable to me because I witnessed it. I wasn't expecting it. And when he told me what it was, I was like, oh, shit. No, I don't want to stem for Pepper X. Pepper X don't mean shit to me, Clara. It was a huge hype. Um, I tried emailing both Justin and Ed Curry about Pepper X and didn't hear nothing. I mean, I still get peppers and stuff from Pucker Butt. I enjoy their products, but I would absolutely love to get like a, a stream or a video sponsored by Pucker Butt, you know, if they come out with some new product. Speaking of new product, since I'm gabbing for the last 15 minutes already, new products by another YouTuber. It's on pre sale now. I'm not going to. Um, 
give him a plug. Why don't I save the stem? What do you mean, Jamie? Um, the other YouTuber, he's got a new product out. I'm not going to give him a name plug or anything. He's got his product on uh, pre-order, which first thing in the morning I'm going to order because it looks fairly easy, but it looks like it's going to be an ass kicker. Well, at least a face kicker, but it's it's not going to be like this for tomorrow. Uh-uh. No way. Tomorrow is going to be violent. Like, hold on. I will take you guys live. Okay. We're going live here. We are live. See? Oops. Rotate device. There's the four packets from the video posted. And no, this is not a sauce. By far, this is not a sauce. This is a bath. That's all 40 peppers in there. That's probably a good three pounds worth of stuff. Um... I'm going to let you know now, Prospector, Ted doesn't particularly care about being glorified as a lord or any of that. If you want to get any feedback on that, <laughs> have a one-on-one -on -one with Crapper and how much of a shredding he got for it. And Yeah. Ted is Ted. He is a very well-known, well-respected YouTuber. Are any super hots in there? Madowix, watch my last video. Watch the one I just posted about, what, 45 minutes ago, guys, if that. I'll answer that question, though. Gen Joy! What up, dude? Hell yeah, I'm glad you joined. Send a Dark Road Run a link. I want to see if he's going to join us. He may be out uh, doing his thing right now, but send him a send them a link and if you're also uh, connected to Ivan uber OKC send him a link too okay I think it's uber IKC. I know you've seen them in my chats before but thanks for joining along Genjoy thank you uh, come on uh, there we go You're on mobile, can't link right now. Well, if you got to jump out of the stream, I'm going to be on a little bit, dude. Uh, this is social time now. I got big unboxing to do. <laughs> Mr. Theodore Bears, where the fuck are you, man? This one's for you. <laughs> I say that with respect, man. I do. Um, you know my sarcasm. Uh, I know some people are trying to figure me out as my personality and disposition. Okay, how you copy the link is um, minimize it to where it shows the label of the video. Click share, and then it should give you a bunch of options like Messenger, um, etc. Yeah, you got it. I knew you would. You're a smart guy, Jenjoy. <laughs> but sometimes, no offense to you, man, sometimes we get those people who are electronic illiterate and they're like, oh, how do I do that? Sir, Ted, am I a chef? 28 years in the restaurants. 28 years, Clara. I can cook anything, but back to my original statement, I got people trying to figure me out, my personality, my disposition, I'll put it to you like this, everybody expects Neapolitan ice cream, the generic strawberry chocolate vanilla, fuck that, I'm the unexpected, I'm the Japanese squid ice cream, all right, you ain't gonna expect some of the shit that I do, and as you guys seen Ted's reaction earlier, when he did his unboxing,
for the record books. And for him to say something like that with the position and everything that man has in the Chili Head community, that's commendable right there. This is going to be violent. It's going to be painful. I'm going to need a 13-gallon trash can right next to me. I kid you not. Because a little gallon and a half, two gallons is not going to be enough. I'm going to get like a gallon of milk. I'm going to have ice cream. I'm going to be suffering. Come on. Come on, Ted. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to do something right now. Because Ted informed me that I should do something. He mentioned I should do something. And I told him I would play a little bit. Oh, Calera, playing <laughs> playing 20 questions with me about what I'm going to do. Just wait and find I'm going to get some uh, – sorry about the glare, guys. I'm going to get some hot water going because I am going to – you guys are going to watch me burn tonight a little bit, maybe a lot, a little, a lot, something. We'll see how it goes. But I'm familiar with how capsaicin extracts, oils – and whatnot go. Um, I got a bit of an education moons ago. <sighs> Don't hurt myself doing it. Hmm. I would say I'm exposing a bit of my masochist side, Jamie. With what I'm doing. It is definitely in the psych world masochistic. They would deem it as self-mutilation. I see it as personal challenge redemption. Modern. Pepper spray is nothing. That's only half a million school bills. Half a million. If that, even the P4 Plus, you guys are going to, it's going to go dark for a minute because I'm going outside. Okay, Modern, you're talking about pepper spray, okay? There you go. There's peppers in this bag that are hotter than that pepper spray. What I have in this box is hotter than that pepper spray. I've heard of people doing quote unquote pepper spray challenges. Not yours. Mm. Well, I can check out the local law enforcement shop. Yeah. What are you missing, crapper? Everything. Lord Barris is... Oops. That was my bad. Ted Barris is not in yet. I'm waiting for him to just pop up and say here. As long as I know he's here. Yours is illegal if you're not law enforcement. Uh, that's easy for me to take care of. That would be real easy for me to take care of. Oh, it's got CS gas in it, too. Mm. Doesn't intimidate me. It doesn't even tickle my wicked instinct. What's up, Spooky? Welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, it doesn't tickle the w wicked one's mentality. Pepper spray is just... Eh. I got something in here that put that shit to shame. Crapper. Really? Lord Bears, he hates that shit, dude. He hates it. Uh, 
but it's all right. You guys want to call him Lord or whatever? All right. <laughs> um, I want to kind of curious to know, though it's not really relevant or important to this unboxing stream. Uh, how long have you guys been following Ted? Oregon days, Washington days, Idaho days. MLDC, YTDC. Yeah, I know anticipation is driving me nuts. I did it at Modern. Um, I got to get to know you more. All right, Clara. Yeah, I know you've been around for a long time. You and I. Yo, Ted. Yes. All right, now we can get along. Thank you for joining. I know you had dinner with your lady. All right, so Ted is finally in. You know what that is, Ted. So finally, special edition unboxing. Ted, thank you. Oh, appreciate Hi, Lady Barris. <laughs> How you doing? I see you're taking good care of Ted and making sure he ain't going too ballistic on us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got to tell you, Ted, I think I mentioned to you in an email before, uh, you put some in here that's, in my memory, very honorable because I witnessed that. Cool. Thank you, Lady Barris. <laughs> so I ain't going cool with the blade. So, oh, Jen Joy, if you're still here, uh, Dark Road Run, I guess, is streaming right now himself. All right. What you doing? Get an industrial box pack? Yeah, he got an industrial box. What the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, no, hell. Dude, Ted. Ted, 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 Ted. Seriously. I know you told me you sent me some of these. But. Holy fuck, dude. I couldn't. I us moderators knocked you speechless earlier. You just knocked the wicked one speechless. This, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been following Ted, this bag, these peppers right here, are a big part of YouTube viral history and Ted's viral history. Holy shit. Dude, fucking thank you. All right. Dr. Green's Agent X. Unisex synthetic urine. Yeah, I know, dude. Uh, believe me, the package is very familiar because you did a couple bong rips with these. Very familiar. And I actually went around and, like, showed people. Yeah. Synthetic urine. I'm going to go pass a piss test with capsaicin. <laughs> All right. No, it's not no uh, synthetic urine. They don't put bubble wrap. All right. This has got to be the bottle of doom. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hell, dude, you even left the original label on. I appreciate that. That is going to be fun. And look at how thick that is, folks. All right. That's it. Woo! Free piece of cardboard. <laughs> All right. Now, I think, yep, I do recognize this one. There you go, guys. <laughs> yup, FBI. You've worn this in a couple of videos, Ted. And actually, it'll work perfectly being a 4X, bro. I'm a 3X guy. 
And as you can see, 3X is still kind of snug on the shoulders. Yeah, this is from Ted's Vault. Have an SP of YouTube viral history. Dude, over a billion views on that. <sighs> Honorable, man. I appreciate it. Now, Sir Ted, you gave me a suggestion, so give me a second. You gave me a suggestion earlier, and I told everyone this was going to be very honorable. Oh, 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 oh. Pot handle will work, or pot holder. Do, 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 do. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Turning the camera around. Mm. Warm water. Yup, it's going to happen, Ted. I'm going to find out what this stuff's about right now. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Going to get this warmed up a bit. Well, you saw how I handled the death nuts. That was 13 mil. And I know this is concentrated droppers. So. Oh, yeah, that liquefied it quite nicely. Um, having a little issue with the plunger. All right. I'm going to turn the camera back around, guys. Yes, I use a kick-ass Lego stand. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't have any liquid sustenance beside me. No water, no nothing. Yeah, I can smell the alcohol. <coughs> and on the side around it, it looks like capsaicin is dried back into crystal form. All right, Ted. Thank you. It's been an honor receiving YouTube viral history. I'm glad you you enjoyed uh, you enjoyed the Red Dead Redemption 2 from your mod squad. This is to Ted Barris, Lady Barris, the mod squad. Special edition unboxing. I'm the wicked one. Keep the capsaicin knife alive. Let it burn. Hmm. Ooh. When the oxygen hits, that's when it hits. Wow. Hell yeah, man. I wonder what kind of... Yep, hiccups. Fire in the hole. Do you know what kind of alcohol they used for this, Ted? Hmm. Stuff's good. I like it. I really like it. Hey, right. I really appreciate it, man. That is re really good. It's building. That's for sure. And as you guys saw, I was swishing it all around my... <clears throat> My mouth. I got the hiccups. Yeah. Okay, you added Everclear. I was wondering what that was. I could taste it. Dude. Awesome care pack. 
care package, man. So tomorrow I'll stay on a chat. Ted, don't let me uh, don't let me interrupt your dinner with the lady. I thank you for <clears throat> Yeah, it's kicking the back back of the throat. Thank you for joining my stream, bro. I really appreciate it. Oh, the fire breathing idiot says it hurts to watch as much pain as I watched you go through the years. Oh my God. That's, dude, that's love. I'm going to shit fire. Mm -hmm. Wait until you see what's going to happen tomorrow. This is going to be a great warm up for tomorrow, you know, doing this right now. <clears throat> Oh, pizza not done? Cool. Yeah, I can feel it. It's kind of biting right back here. It's creating tension right here. It's burning on the back sides of the throat right here. The roof of my mouth. Watch me suffer. Um, that's tomorrow, Ted. I think what I just did was the equivalent of about six drops. You know, you guys saw how full that, I'll show you how full the dropper is now after that. I did about half of what was in there and that was up to here. I'm gonna reserve my sanity tonight. As you can see, Ted, I'm handling it pretty well. It's building quite nicely. It's, it's warming up going down. It does feel like a, I shot a moonshine because of the Everclear, but it's got the rolling consistent burn from the cap capsaicin. It's causing me to salivate like crazy. But heck yeah, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to rock this shirt tomorrow. Nagabob. Uh, Nagabob. I remember Nagabob. It's starting to warm up down here. It's starting to creep more down to the gut. <laughs> I can feel it starting to build up in sweat right here. It's building, no doubt. But I'm going to rock your shirt tomorrow. <laughs> I got to go to either Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere. I need to take on the plutonium. I've been wanting the plutonium, uh, but I've seen the price of that. Mm. Oh yeah, it's it's building. I can feel it. <laughs> um, the plutonium that looked like an interesting challenge. Um, well, I wouldn't say challenge, but it would be fun to work with. That's for sure. Tomorrow, I'm like I was trying to get onto. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's because Walmart didn't have the size frame I have for this big beast. That's the banner. That's the Wicked One logo. And uh, also tomorrow I'm going to go to the Secretary of State and get my trademark for it so nobody can steal my logo. Hell yeah. Whew. It's building. It is definitely building, Ted. But as you can tell, there's I haven't hit no panic button or anything. That I might be uh borderline panic button tomorrow. All right. All right, yeah. Um, let me know. I'll, I'll throw in on the shipping, bro. You know, I will definitely work, work with you and we'll, <clears throat> yeah, it's ramping up, no doubt, but it hasn't caused me to be like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, some of you guys have been watching some of my older content back when I first started recently and 
you guys can see that my tolerance has and my behaviors have changed quite a bit. All right, Ted, Lady Bears, have a good night. Keep the capsaicin life alive. Let it burn. I'm going to be chatting for a little bit. I appreciate everybody. Um, we will catch you on the next live stream, Ted. You know I'm there, except for one I'm at work. <laughs> I can compete with Scoville. You know what? If you hang out for five more seconds, Ted, I'm not dropping this as a plug. Scoville just launched his new uh, tube of insanity. He's got it on pre-order right now. It's a tube of 25 nuts. Him and David Foy of Bizarre Foods work together on creating this. He's got it on pre-order right now, and it looked like it kicked his ass, bro. Um, I'll send you a link in our chat, I'll let, or if you want, you can go to his channel, whatever, but he just released a video earlier, and he was getting his ass kicked. I, I gave that man props, too. You know, he's got a high tolerance for capsaicin, the pain, and everything. But I think with what he does, he's going to be in and out of the capsaicin game soon. I hope he sticks around for a couple more years. That'd be great. Watching you, Ted, for shit, seven and a half, eight years now. That's been awesome. But, yeah, Ted. Johnny's got a new challenge. If you feel I can compete with Johnny Scoville, shit, that would be amazing. You know, if he wasn't on tour, I'd I'd be like, yo, Johnny, let's sit down and grab some peppers. Let's do this. But tomorrow, that's going to set my foothold in the Chili Head community, bro. Yeah, I'm a young – well, I'm not a young channel. I'm a small channel. But tomorrow is my, my footprint. That's for damn sure. Hell yeah. This is this right here. I'm gonna love this. I'm sitting here smiling. Um my thing is that I know you said you wanted me to do some more. I want to enjoy this. Tomorrow's gonna be hell, but I still want to enjoy this. I still want to have some thereafter because who knows? I just might go to a restaurant and just bloop, bloop, bloop. oh you got extra hot. <laughs> Please. But yeah. Uber. All right. What time tomorrow? Um, I'll let everybody know in the morning. Ivan, I got to send you a friend request so that way you can get notifications too, or unless you get delayed notifications. Like I've been on for 45 minutes. If you just got the notification, uh, a lot of us creators have discussed and mentioned in various streams and such about delays in notifications like there's a group of 15 of us that are constantly missing notifications or getting delayed notifications for other creators live streams or new content so ivan don't feel out of the loop on this okay but um in the morning what i'll do after i do my shopping is i'll make a a brief video because I have still got some more prep to do. I could do it live if I wanted to, but I'm not going to sit here and hold my phone and everything. Um, I got to finish the prep. I got to go shopping because I'm going to need milk. I'm going to need ice cream. I'll lay down the rules or the platform of the challenge. Okay. This has got 40 peppers <clears throat> plus the seasonings that I made the bath with. Plus a protein in it. And that protein is going to be the base of what holds all this together. And if it gets to the point where it hits my panic button and I'm just like, I can't hold no more. Or not hold no more, but I can't take it anymore. I'll bow down. But if I'm to the point where... Yeah, I'm puking and I still want to go. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to polish every bit of this off and suffer major capsaicin cramps and piss fire, shit fire, melt my toilet bowl, whatever. Fucking burn holes in my pants when I fart. I don't give a shit. I'm going to do this tomorrow. 
yeah, EMT on standby. Um, emergency milk. <laughs> and, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of something for the tea. Emergency milk and tablets. There we go. Nope, can't save a cup for evidence, Callista. There will be the only evidence that will exist of this challenge once it's completed is YouTube. You guys, the mod squad, my followers. You guys like, share, subscribe, you know, like and share this video and share it with your guys' social circle. It'll just blossom from there. But tomorrow is going to be my foot stomp in the Chili Head community. You running low to crapper. What are you talking about, Gomez? Do I have to chew you out, you know, kind of manhandle you and crapper in the chat? Clara, you would like to sample a shot? Um, I'm not going to try and mail some of this stuff. Emergency milk and magne magnesium transfusion. There we go. <laughs> oh. Out of the flowers. I got you. I got you. Well, I don't got you like here. But I got you now. Um, guys. Let's try and keep the uh, chronic chatter on the DL on my channel. Because... This is not what my content's about. Yeah, Ted blazes and everything. He, that's his thing. There's other people that blaze on their channels. This is my chili head channel. This is what I like doing. I want to bullshit with you guys. If y'all want to talk about chronic and smoking and all that, we'll do it all day in the chats, or we'll talk about it with Ted. You know, education of school. No, it's all good, Gomez. It's all good. <laughs> You know, because like, I do have a younger audience that does watch my channel. I try and limit on my swearing and stuff. Because even my daughter watches my channel. She sits here. She's not right here right now, obviously. She went to bed. But have I had shit the bed sauce? Yes. Uh, the one hot sauce, or two hot sauces I'm looking forward to reviewing for you guys is Three Kings and God's Wrath. It's made by Uncle Kim. Hold on. All right, Three Kings. Damn it. Well, Three Kings and God's Wrath. I grabbed the wrong bottle. Uh, they're made by Big Reds. Uh, Sleep Time and Harvest LLC out of Phoenix, Arizona. That is the God's Wrath. Thank you. This right here, this would actually go good with the extract that Ted sent, or the capsaicin. This is Ruga Scorpion, Carolina Reaper, and Trinidad. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, if you guys want a description of what I'm still feeling, it's moved more or less down here. It's not so much in the mouth anymore. It's all moving around in the guts. But I got food in my stomach, so the ahi tuna I got right now in my stomach is now getting seasoned with capsaicin. Dave's Insanity Sauce, yeah. There's a lot of sauces. There's hundreds and hundreds of sauces out there. It would cost a fortune. A literal fortune. I would have to get mega sponsorships to go out there and review them all. Because this right here, this little bottle was $14. And it's just a ghost pepper sauce. Um, Three Kings, it's got the Scorpion, the Ghost, and the Reaper. Um... That one was sixteen dollars. Well, thank you, Clara. Uh, 
I know you've looked up my old stuff back in the day <laughs> when I first started because when the chili head woke up with me and said there ain't nothing hot enough I researched for a little bit got a hold of some ghost peppers I was like oh yay we'll tell this pepper okay and then a couple months later even after watching Ted, because he did a variety of peppers, I was just like, wow, those are some seriously intense peppers. How do I get my hands on those? And I've seen other creators, uh, LA Beast, Chili Beast, T Mudder, Darth Naga. The list goes on for the old school Chili Head community. And I got superficially interested. I was just like, I want it. I have this spicy craving i can't cure i eat cheetos like they're absolutely nothing flaming hot cheetos like they're absolutely nothing i eat jalapenos like they're nothing i eat habaneros and as my personality grew into becoming wicked one three years ago um i started acquiring the peppers i started acquiring the sauces and yeah it motivated me to make videos make content and initially i started doing it just for fun it wasn't about trying to get that viral video or chasing the bandwagon of what other people were doing i was doing it for fun like my first big challenge was my six pepper gauntlet the Fatality, the Seven Pot, the Red Habanero Red Savinia, the Maruga Scorpion, the Carolina Reaper, and the Peach Ghost. That was six in 20 minutes. That ripped me up. Yeah, I was tugging milk. I wasn't puking, no, and I didn't back down. And I was just like, man, I'm going to keep this going. I like this. And ever since then, I've gotten a hold of the Carolina Reapers, Chocolate Bootlas. It took a while to get a hold of the Chocolate Bootla, but there's several phenotypes that I want to get a hold of. You got Chad Selisky, Dave Miner, and Steve McLaren. I want to get a hold of those. Uh, I believe it was the Chocolate Bootla Dave Miner that Ted reviewed that I was just like, that thing's bigger than a fucking iPhone. Holy crap. Um, you don't see how peppers can get hotter than the hottest ones now. Well, it's okay. I'm going to have to use this reference. It's just like how marijuana has gone from seven to 9% THC in the sixties. Okay. It was very low grade as far as we're concerned to now high twenties, low thirties. It's all about matching the right phenotypes, the genomes, uh, strain stability, the ability to properly breed, the ability to properly manicure and take care of the plant. The same concept works. Excuse me, salivation is crazy. Um, the same concept works, you know, for creating hybrid peppers. And that's exactly what Carolina Reaper is. It's a hybrid. The Chocolate Bootla, it's a hybrid. They crossed all these original peppers, the ones we were originally familiar with, like the Thai, the, the Serrano, the Ancho, the Poblano. Now there's over 500 different types. Could I try all 500? I know a company that's got them all, and it would cost me a small fortune. And it would take a while. <laughs> but yeah, if I had the time and the funds to do it, I would definitely do it. I'd give a review on every single pepper I got my hands on. But there's so much common content out there with, you know, the Carolina Reaper. There's probably, what, four or 5,000? Let's see. Cool crapper. I'm a really cool person to know in person, but back to the chili talk. Um, if I had an opportunity to do it, I would. I would let you know how it tastes, how it burns, you know, your general review information, but 
with the hype that's going on, it's hard to get the consistent content out there when you got 10,000 people posting the same thing. Like when the Carolina Reaper came out, it was video after video after video after video. And after 20, 30 videos, you're just like, hmm. And after 100 videos, you're like, that person's faking. That person's over-exaggerating. That person shouldn't even picked out the pepper. Like you see those uh, descriptions or the titles, Carolina Reaper pepper challenge gone wrong. First of all, you're only eating one pod. Not really a challenge. That's a review, <laughs> really. Uh, I guess they would label it as a challenge because their personality says, okay, I'm going to do something above and beyond what I normally expect to do. Respectable. But 10,000 different identical titles. That was a bit of a onomatopoeia right there. All those titles all have the same thing. They're eating one prep pepper. They're dying. They're crying. It got old after a while. You have people on the scene now like me. We have respectable tolerances. It's not an insane tolerance. I still feel the burn. It's my mindset and how I carry myself is different than other people. You know, I don't get the whole, oh my God, <sighs> ah, this is so fucking insane. No, I want to be real with you all. You guys watch me drop the capsaicin that Ted said. You guys watch my reaction. I broke a little sweat right here. And how much more genuine do you want? I'd rather be real with my audience versus creating that hype, overhyped shit. I mean, a lot of people do get a lot more views because they feed off that vibe. But me personally, uh, have I mellowed out? No. If you guys knew me in real life, in person, you guys would be like, dude, how old are you again? And when the hell are you going to slow down? Ain't happening. Not until the day I'm putting a grave and I'm kicking Satan in the nutsack because I already took over hell twice. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I appreciate everybody chilling along. Appreciate the likes. We've been gabbing it up. Well, I've been gabbing it up for an hour, even with a nice kick in the face. That had very nice burn. It did. Oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 can't go yet. Not going to go yet. There's a reason why I turned the camera around. Do, 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 do. This is going to be a little bit challenging to do. All right. Yes, you guys are going to see this. Oh, hold on. Flip the camera again because I got to open the jar. Another camera flip. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, and get out of there. 28 drops into the mix. Okay, as you guys can see, compared to the video earlier, this stuff is thickened up, so that would not be a sauce, guys. In a minute, I'm going to let this warm up like my gut's warming up now that everything's moving down. Feels really good. Do, 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 do. This is going to look interesting. This stuff is going to change color on you guys. It's got this mm, almost Tabasco like appeal or appearance. Is it true that spicy stuff causes stomach ulcers? Uh, depending on people's gastric and gastrointestinal sensitivities, yes, it can. 
But most of the time, since capsaicin is an oil, no, it won't. Crapper, you would cry just smelling this stuff. You'd have to hold Jamie's hand and, you know, Jamie would have to have a big old pillow on her shoulder when you smell this stuff, okay? This stuff is no joke. I know it's a little boring watching this stuff break down to consistency. There it goes. Spin, pot, spin. I got a glass top, so that's why the pot spins. See around the edges how it's starting to become a bit more fluid. There we go. The aromatics are kicking back in. Kicking back in. Um, yeah, I would have to agree. Stuff would be good over chili dogs, but it this you wouldn't want this stuff over chili dogs. This is a specific mixture for a different type of food. It's actually one of my favorite types of food. And you guys are going to find out tomorrow what that is because tonight I got to finish some more prep after I get off here with you guys. Oh man. Dude, you're going to have to watch the stream. You're about an hour late. You missed a lot of stuff. Thank you for joining though. No, this is not chili. I would not put this in chili either. If you can see, it's liquefying as it's heating. So, oil man, I'll give you a quick recap. Tonight was a very special unboxing. Um, a fellow creator sent me uh, a few things. There's one of them. Better be careful with that. It's a lot hotter than 7.6. <laughs> that is caps pure capsaicin. But as you guys can see, you see how it liquefied from a solid state? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's all mixed in. All right. My daughter's crayons. <laughs> This is great. Still salivating. <clears throat> no, I didn't pour the whole bottle in. If I had a spit bucket, I'd be going nuts with it. That's how much saliva it's still producing. It's not burning, but it's still producing saliva. And the reason why that is is because, yeah, it's still burning down in the gut. So it's a natural physical reaction for you to start salivating. <coughs> Capsaicin burps. Nice. It looks hotter than the gates of hell. Ivan, with the challenge I'm doing tomorrow, I'm going to be kicking down the door, the gates of hell, kicking Satan in the scrotum, and I'm taking over. Yeah, Modern, we're, we're an awesome, crazy group of people. Uh, we have fun for hours on and off Ted streams. Um, I already know one person. I know he doesn't catch them very often, but 
he's been a couple of these people have been my loyal followers for several years now and i promised them moderator spots a long time ago and yes jamie the our mod squad is the best so guys i'll figure out who the moderators are going to be um don't take it personally if i don't pick you i'm just saying that in general to everybody and the reason why that is I have a certain character and demeanor I look for in people and I hold different content as you see, you know, it's got to be more or less family friendly, kid friendly almost. Oh, crapper, absolutely nothing personal, it's not even business, it's my channel. You know, I, I'd rather have my moderators know and understand me a bit more and understand how to moderate my channel sorry guys i'm getting notifications like crazy versus just go oh i want my wrench i want my wrench i'm not i'm not a wrench hand i don't have any moderators right now but i will have moderators i will contact each individual personally because i have you all on the friends list except for ivan and Jen Joy and Oil Man, I gotta get you guys uh, <clears throat> a friend requested here on YouTube, so that way we can stay in better contact when I'm on. Uh, one of my other followers, uh, DRR, I was kind of hoping he was gonna show up, but he was doing his own stream and things. His channel's slowly growing, <clears throat> which is awesome. The salivation's crazy. I'm telling you guys, but. No bird, not up here. It's all. The bird is all about. Oh, by the way, there's the Cully shirt again. The bird's all about right here, just at the top of the stomach, because I do have a full stomach. Ahi tuna, seared ahi tuna, mango lime, with uh, buttered green beans and chipotle corn. Yeah. I love to eat good food. Then there's my lazy nights. Hell yeah, I'll get down on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like no other. I'll destroy a loaf of bread that way. <laughs> you ate some mushy hot dogs? How were your hot dogs mushy unless they were some... I don't want to even know the brand, okay, dude? Don't tell me because... Anytime I hear about mushy hot dogs, it just rings the bell of those. I can get eight of them for a dollar packs, okay? I like all beef, or if I get the try meat, it's got to be a quality brand. I learned a lot about different types of foods through my culinary years and the damages that those preservatives and things that can do to your body, man. It's horrible. Like, I'm not no ripped cut guy, but I fuck. Damn it. There I go again. I'll mess some crap up. I mean, yeah. Oh, Gomez, you probably recognize that little one. <laughs> I won't do the whole thing. Nothing worse than soft wieners. Who tells too much information? I'm an informative individual. I'll talk about all kinds of different topics, especially when I'm live streaming. A lot of people <clears throat> kind of stereotype me like, oh, this guy don't know shit. This dude's been to college. This guy's got a, an associate's and an MA. So I'm educated and my associate's and MA are not in culinary either. Culinary experience is from 28 years in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. I I know what you mean, Jamie. <laughs> He's got to explain himself. And if you stick your two cents in, he's got to explain more because he thinks you don't understand. What a conversation about genetics. 
Um, I won't get into your L. Ron Hubbard Scientology genetics ordeal. I won't start a debate because you'll lose. I got one word. You want to talk about genetics and how fucked up they come, became? Monsanto. End of story. They're doing a lot more than what you think. That's why it's one, wicked 1.00. Mm, try and be a little creative. Yeah, Monsanto. Because just think about that paraphrase. Genetically modified organisms. Huh. What is China doing right now that they just released? All right. Yeah, exactly. You're on point right there, Clara. They're turning our food into chemical weapons. And the, chem the chemical weapons are against our own society. And well, Semper Fi, Clara, Semper Fi. I respect servicemen and women. I grew up in a military lifestyle. Uh, my parents were in the military. I wasn't even born stateside. I was born on an itty bitty tiny little island that hardly anybody's ever heard about unless you've been in the military. I had you at Anamonopia. Uh, don't, don't get me kickstarted on, uh, there you go. You hit it right on the spot, Calera. Mm. That's where I was born, guys. Guam. Mm. Hot foot day. What's up, Wigan? Your, your signal's been bullshit. Well, I'm glad you finally joined, Blind. Thank you for coming in. I actually called, called for you earlier. <laughs> I was like, come on, Blind, get in here. Joe, get Blind in here. Because Joe was the first person. Yes. Big snakes, great people, great food, and I want to go back. Yes, snakes, crapper. They would make you crap your pants, then we're going to have to call you the Denver Deucer 2.0. We don't want to do that, do we? Let's see. Yeah. Humankind, the way we thought we've evolved and becoming more technologically advanced, we're actually becoming intellectually more stupid because we're <laughs> too codependent on <clears throat> the technology of science or the science of technology. Who hasn't heard of Guam? You'd be amazed, blind. There's a lot of naive uneducated people out there when it comes to geography. Like, people are like, Guam? Where is that? Never heard of it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure because it's a tiny island out in uh, the Pacific and it was a very heavy used waypoint during World War II. Yeah, we're getting pissed. Mother Nature's pissing on us right now. Hey, blind. Um, catch up on this stream a little bit later after it uploads. Uh, <clears throat> so that way you can catch up on the unboxing. That's at about the what, 15, 20 minute mark when Ted came in. Nice. Um, I took like what? It would be the equivalent to about 14 drops of the capsaicin extract. And since you're behind, I'll show you what else he sent beside the uh, capsaicin extract. I'll go through this again, guys, since we got a couple other people late. All right. Fire breathing idiot, long sleeve. There's the back of it. I didn't show it earlier. And then. 
He's got his logo on both sleeves. Nope. Yep. And blind the piece of YouTube viral history that I talked about. The Carolina Reaper bong rip. This is the bag. This is the actual Reapers. Capsicum Tenens. Carolina Reaper. This is the same bag that he snapped open and created a video and I was on the live stream when he did it. <clears throat> When he toked his first Carolina Reaper through his bong, the same one he dabs out of today. So this is going in my, I got to add a couple of these to the pot of hell. So that way it's got, it continues the honorability and hold on. Hold, oh, no, no, no. It doesn't have, wait, 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 wait. Oh. It may or may not have the original stem in here. I'm not sure from that video. Let's take a look. There is a loose stem in here. I, can, I don't want to say it is, but there is a loose stem right there. You guys were right about getting a stem. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a generation one Carolina Reaper right there. <clears throat> Dr. Bergman, Dr. Bergman, where California. That's where I've heard that name, am I right? Do you know about two other YouTubers that, um, yeah, I've heard of LSM. Uh, there was two other YouTubers that scammed the shit out of YouTubers, or their following, like really scammed the shit out of them. It would be a fucking, since we're late night by now, it would be a slob. My bad, y'all. I think that's because I, I got other notifications. That is not the Pepper X stem. But I got a stem. <laughs> I did get a stem. We are correct about that. We got a, I got a stem. That is not the Pepper X stem. No. That Pepper X stem he has stashed away. Yeah, uh, that was because of one of my other notifications. Like, I don't know if other people are, I'm not paying attention to what notifications are coming up, but there could be other people commenting on my other content and stuff because I shared it on Facebook. <clears throat> and I know you guys have been asking, well, crapper, Pepper X is real, blind, but the hype is fake. Okay, it's a mustard. Um, mustards typically peak over about 1.1 million, and they were claiming 3 million on this. No. Um, Currently, Ed Curry is working on a new one. He's kind of posted on Facebook about the new one he's working on. Um, I don't think he's going to hype it to challenge the Carolina Reaper, considering he just got this the Generation 2 world record. So that means he's been working on the Carolina Reaper for almost 10 years to get these stabilized. A uh, prospector, that process to test peppers, that costs several thousand dollars because it takes, it, it. the process is simple, but 
the machinery, the manpower, the hours. It costs a couple thousand dollars to have that thing tested, certified, and you get a damn piece of paper that says, yeah, it's this hot. Yeah, um, Prospector, I learned about LSM when I was about 13, back in my good boy days when I was a Boy Scout and I was working on my Eagle project. I did a project for the kids in the ambulatory, non semi-ambulatory and non-ambulatory wards at the hospital in the town I lived at. And we made a bunch of toys and games and such for them. And that's where I learned about LSM. Let's see. Yay! I can go through here and check out what everybody said because I know I, I've missed a couple conversations. Good thing I'm a fast reader and I can read backwards. All right. Well, that's good to hear. You know, best wishes for your little ones, Jamie. You know, you guys hear me talking about my daughter all the time. I have five total. One boy, four girls. Yeah, my kids... All of them, but my youngest have my characteristics. They look a lot like me. Uh, my son is like a 75, 25 yeah. between me and his mom and I. My three out of four daughters that I have, 85, 95. Yeah, we've talked about that before, Jamie. We talked about that in uh, the squad chat. And I believe you um, you were also talking to it, talking about it with uh, Judith. Get back up here. All right. The future generation of five wickets to carry on the Pepper legacy. Well, my 10 year old is going to be the one carrying on the legacy. She's been in a couple of vids since she was six years old, five, six years old. Yeah. She just uh, took um, She took on, that's a creaky chair in the background. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the Carolina Reaper chocolate brittle. And she was like, damn. It's good. It's hot. It's a beast. And she's got the same tolerance like I do. Like she can take the heat and she doesn't have that superficially overexcited reaction. She does really well. Yeah, that's my niece over to the right, over to my right, your guys' left. She's kicking back in a computer chair that creaks a lot. Be careful of the trolls. The trolls would have a hell of a time fucking with me. Okay. I'm not a very sensitive person when it comes to social media stuff. Like, I've had people talk shit to me on Facebook, um, other social media sites, and they're like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, whatever. You're just a keyboard cowboy, and that's it. And I got, I'm not trying to boast or brag. I got a couple of videos posted on there of some fights I've been in. Um, I won't post any of the newspaper clippings 
that particularly relate to me. Um, trolls don't bother me. They don't. If they want to try and pour some haterade in my lemonade, well, they got something else coming. They see they love other people's misery. I'll sit here smiling, and they hate that, and they're gonna try and push and push. And I, I'm aware they'll try and you know pick at kids, family, <laughs> things like that. They try coming at me in art in real life. It's going to be a huge mistake. A very huge mistake. And that's because of, I'll just put it this way, my involvement with things in the past. Okay. Um, I have great friends in law enforcement. I have great friends in the bounty hunter community um i'd have to go into the storage unit to show you guys oh wait maybe not maybe not i'm gonna leave you guys in suspense i'm gonna show you guys something you ain't gonna believe this shit but believe it because there's only one way you can get these and that's if you actually had the damn job Be right there, guys. I put these. You guys want to say hi to YouTube here in a minute? You guys want to say hi to YouTube in a minute? All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'll look for it. It's kind of buried right now. But I was going to show you the agency I worked for. AFRS, Arizona Fugitive Recovery Services. It was fun. <laughs> it was interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What was that about messing with the real mod squad in life? Oh, no, don't do that. Support the deadly force of cholera. You don't want to have to go to prison because the troll messed with the mod squad in real life. First of all, it'd be interesting to see if they actually were able to get a hold of my information monkey mad monkey hey in new zealand do they say good i might too <laughs> i'm thinking of sways i apologize for that one monkey I apologize for that one. Damn it. My brain just went <laughs> crisscross on the pond hardcore. Uh, like I was saying, though, I, I still have oil on my hands from last night. I've washed my hands quite a few times. 
There we go. A little bit. Yeah, it's good water. Da -da. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Go, go, go. Bird, go ahead. You'll be all right. All right. There we go. Uh, yeah, my bad, Gomez. My bad, monkey. No offense intended. <clears throat> I know you're from England. It just, my mind went, okay. Think New Zealand. Think Australian because a joke just came to mind. But since you're from England, you want to hear an Australian joke. It was kind of lame when I heard it when I was an Uber driver. Do you know the difference between an Australian and a New, and a New Zealander? New Zealander is just a sophisticated Aussie. Like I said, it was pretty lame. I met, some, I met a lot of cool people. A lot of cool people when I did Uber. I got to take a couple stars around too. Uh, Alan Jackson, Cheryl Crow, um, the audio crew from Kid Rock. Not Kid Rock himself because he was already at AJ's Good Time Bar. Who is Dr. Toke? That is Crapper, Clara. I'll use Deadly Force. It's called my ass after eating some chilies. Crapper Kerr. Yeah, we got to wait until February or March or whatever for him to change his name back. Okay, I got to ask Crapper, why the hell did you change your name to Dr. Toke when you're sober as a brick? Doc, doctor, I'll tell you from my point of view, Dr. Toke does not fit your disposition or personality. You might smoke weed, but I don't see you as a Dr. Toke. When I smoke weed, they call me Sir Hacks a lot. What could I say? I was always brought up, you know, if you don't cough, you don't get off. So I ripped the shit out of it and just choked my brains out. And do it again and again and again. Uh, don't change the name three times in one month. Um, let's see, I haven't changed my name in three years. If you got to find a name that fits you, that means you haven't found yourself yet. But guys, thank you for sticking around. <clears throat> thank you for hanging out. Um, I got to put this out there, crapper. We're at late night hours anyways. I bet you Crapper changes his avatar name a lot, but something else that he named hasn't changed. And I don't think Jamie named it either. Mm. Dr. Crapper? Mm. Need to see a Dr. Crapper. So you've changed it twice, Crapper, and you've gotten negative feedback. Everybody got used to you being uh... <laughs> uh... I'm not targeting you, Crapper. It's just you left yourself wide open for that one. And it's a lot easier. I'm a shitty typer, so you guys seen that. Me and auto spell don't get along, even though I shut that shit off on my phone. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So if you can't take the sarcasm, go put a bandaid on it, put an ice pack on it, and have your lady kiss it. You kiss it, and it's gonna be okay. But if you keep coming back for more, I'm just gonna sting harder because one way or another, you're gonna hurt or you're gonna laugh. One of the two.
Okay. Okay, I'm trying to interpret that message you just said, Jamie. He gets the biggest laugh out of crappers. Wicked. Very oddly. Okay, so he gets the biggest laugh out of toilets. He likes that toilet humor. I melt my toilet every day, so he should be dying on the floor laughing. I know I'm going to have a lot of people laughing tomorrow when I'm puking my guts out. You got a twisted sense of humor? I got a twisted sense of sarcasm. And a little Wicked One history. One of my pickup lines to girls. This is one of them. Pain is my pleasure. Blood is my ecstasy. Girl, do you have the wet pussy to lay next to me? We could rule the world. You'd be a minion, crapper. You'd be a minion. The sauce mixture I made. Um, probably about 45 bucks. And that doesn't include the other ingredients still yet to be added. Somebody's pocket vibrator is going off. Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. Ah, there it is. Nope, you ain't got to hold on. Oh, avant garde public hair blessing. How's that for you, blind? I'll brush my public hairs for you. Uh, my other channel, um, it, it's still in its concept phase. I haven't done any work on it in seven months. Seriously, no work on it. Um, it's, I have another Facebook page, which isn't public. Um, I go out fishing for crypto scammers and I also uh, search the internet for useful apps that you can use on your phone to obtain cryptocurrency for free without investing, things like that. Oh, are we going back and forth already? Crapper, you watch too much world star hip hop. If you want to create your own cr crazy ideas, use this. Not that thing you're staring at right there. See, I'm going to poke you in the eye right there. Use the brain you were born with. You apologize if you get a little weird. Ain't gonna bother me. I can go strange and deranged. I can go wicked. I can go demented. I can go on many different levels. We can geek out, be educated, speak intellectually about various different topics. Blind and I have already done that. Blind is a very intelligent guy. I give him credit. Um... Intelligence is a great thing. It really is. It's a beautiful thing. And these people that have been dumbed down by modern age technology that can't even read a standard clock is fucking ridiculous. 
there's a method to your madness, then you're not insane. The psychotics don't know they're insane. This is just nicotine, guys. I quit smoking four years ago, and then after my mom passed, I picked it up again for a little while, and then I put it back down. Uh, now you're riding the Cypress Hill bandwagon on that one. Nicotine. It's nicotine. Uh, where I'm at just recently went medical, so something I'm going to look into. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to read this to you guys. They say masturbation is better with a dead arm. Apparently, I ruined that funeral. <laughs> That's wicked shit right there. If you've performed The Stranger, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, even, even if I get my card and everything, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna be blazing or medicating on this channel. It's, it's not what my content's about. But in general, I'll talk about anything and everything, you know. Because I don't delete my videos, guys. If I say something that puts me in risk and gives me a strike, that's my fault. Not your guys's. But if you guys, you know, I know the mud squad's good. But if I end up with trolls later on down the road that want to try and flag my shit for stupid shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm going to appeal that shit. Blind, I'd have to say the funeral was better. At least one person left with a smile. Straight lace people irritate me, but their reactions are priceless. All right, man, monkey. You know, if you got a bed calling you, there better be a woman in it. I had to go there. It was spontaneous. But yeah, have a good night, Mad Monkey. We'll see you top in the morning, probably. Oh, I can belch. My nickname as a youth was Belcher. Especially at Boy Scout camp. Hell yeah. The acoustics at some of them camps. Let them fly. I hear the echo. It was great. I was out of Belgium, Germany. I was an interfere. But uh, if you got a lady texting you to bed, stop looking at my ugly face. Get your ass to bed to that pretty lady. Okay? I encourage positivity and companionship in relationships. In relationships. I'm just a YouTube creator with some time on my hands and I enjoy doing what I do. But yet I spend time with my little lady, my daughter. She's my world. Hell yeah. Her smile making her smile every day makes me smile every day. When she's not smiling, I'm gonna figure out what the hell's going on. If she's not feeling good, if she's in a bad mood, something like that. Hell yeah, my daughter's my world. Interesting. You got to run, Callista. Well, walk somewhere. You'll burn less calories. All right. You keep talking about this show, crapper. Thank you. I appreciate that, Clara. Thank you for tagging along for shit over an hour and a half, man. Almost two hours. 
it's been awesome. And I thank the Mod Squad for hanging out tonight. And, you know, I'm going to bullshit with you guys tonight. Me and Blind got to keep our affair going. I got to keep Joseph hidden. Oops. <laughs> oh, shit. That's some funny shit that we got going on in there. That's for sure. And I'm glad everybody's lighthearted about it and we have a great time. That That's definitely what makes it enjoyable. That's for sure. Oh, this is just me on camera, man. It's, the people at work don't know what to do with me. I mean, I work with people that are half as, half my age and they can't keep up. And then when I go on one of my rants, they're like, what the hell? What's this guy on? What's he doing? Can you watch one of my Saw movies? Not until I get Jigsaw. Okay. Yeah, I can't have any movies playing in the background because I can get a copyright strike for it. Red Dead Redemption streams, looking forward, will be a trip. Yeah, they'll be interesting. Um, I ain't a shy guy. If you guys want to help me out and get a PS4, I'll show the love. Um, I'm a financially stable guy, but I just don't have that little bit of extra at this point in time. Do, 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 do. I went to town. <laughs> yeah. So the budget tightened up a little bit, but it's all right. There's always a bounce back after tax returns. But after tax returns, there's events going on and things that I'm going to be doing. Um, I wasn't kidding about what? Yeah, I want people that I'm around to have a good Christmas. So I'll tighten up the budget a little bit to share some love. And you guys helped out, you know, getting Ted his Christmas gift. That was pretty fucking awesome. That was there is no basement. Um, that's the crappy computer chair of the house that's really loud and obnoxious. That needs some WD-40. <laughs> Where's my brother-in-law just said it needs a dumpster badly. One of the two, WD-40 until it needs a dumpster. That works too. Well, I'm pretty well satisfied with this stream tonight, you know. Oh, modern. You got to have a sense of humor, man. You got to have a sense of humor. Toronto! Yo, I am glad I came on. I'm sorry you missed all the good stuff already. Uh, catch up later. I appreciate it. I'm just sitting here gabbing with the mod squad. Kind of giving them a little wicked one background. Uh now that Toronto's here, he's one of Ted's main mods. Uh, I know you recognize that shirt. The long sleeve. With a big ass logo on the back. <coughs> yeah. And Toronto, do you recognize this? Do you recognize this? No, we'll get the we'll get going on the weird stuff. Yeah. You know that's a piece of YouTube viral history right there. Oh, wait until I start talking while I'm burping. That's great.
Capsation still got a nice burn rolling in the stomach still. Oh, Toronto, you're going to enjoy the Capsaicin. I did. Um, Ted came on the stream about 15 minutes in. So later on after this uploads, if you want, fast forward to the 15 minutes because I was just gabbing it out prior to that, waiting for Ted to show. And um, you'll see me drop at least 20 drops of that capsaicin. Yeah, 15, 20, somewhere around there. It was a third of the dropper. Two third. God. Endorphins high. Endorphin high is now kicking in. Took a while. Wow. That's that's some good stuff right there. Uh, 28 drops went into the bath. So, yeah, I know you're going to enjoy Ted's shirt. You seem like a, a solid, stocky guy like me. So they'll fit us nicely because this is a 3X right here. And if you can tell, it's tight on my shoulders and stuff. Oh, nice. Um, be careful with it, bro. Like, I would say hit them with one, two drops max, okay? They're going to fall on the floor. They will fall on the floor. Because Ted was telling me tonight after... I did that three-quarter dropper tonight. He's like, man, you're going to be pissed and fire. You're going to be shit and fire. And, yeah, I got a nice rolling fire in my stomach right now. <laughs> These are all capsaicin burps. I'm not worried about views, Blind. I told you that. As long as people watch my content here and there eventually, I'm happy with that. But I sustained for quite a while. You can't do it, dude. You got to do at least one drop. Oh, ouch. I can totally respect that, dude. Like, this stuff, yeah, you want to be hypersensitive with, hyper careful with it. Melt a snowflake into submission? No. It would liquefy that snowflake back into the inability to resurrect. But I know one thing. I'm having an ice cream craving. <laughs> I want some ice cream. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that it's been going up and down too, Blind. But there's been a consistent number. I got it. I like the number of likes I got already. Thank you for liking everything, liking the stream, guys. Throw your like on there, please, Toronto. Please. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I really appreciate you guys kicking it with me for almost two hours now. Um, I've had dinner. I had a capsaicin dessert. I got an evil sweet tooth kicking in right now. I'm weird like that. I don't know what it is after I eat super hots. After I eat anything spicy. It's not the want to use the milk or the dairy product to calm the stomach. No, I just have a fucking sweet tooth. I want some candy. I want some ice cream. I want it now. <laughs> Um, so guys, seriously, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. It's been an awesome live stream on a uh, special edition unboxing YouTube viral history right here in my hands. Absolutely amazing. You guys saw it. Ted returned the speechlessness. We knocked him speechless with our gift mod squad. He knocked me speechless with this. Like, I was thinking maybe it was a couple peppers, maybe in a Ziploc baggie. I wasn't expecting the actual bag with the peppers in it itself. But that is, that's fucking awesome. The shirt I'm going to be rocking tomorrow. The, this beast right here. You see how big that is? I'm backing way up. That's 36 inches across. It's 48 inches tall. 
That's the Wicked One banner. That's going to be the backdrop for the streams and my videos. So tomorrow, when I do that challenge, I'm going to have that 13-gallon trash can right next to me ready for my fucking guts to unload. Um, it's hard for me to puke, but just by the sheer volume, it's going to trigger vomiting. There's no doubt in that. I don't care if I puke tomorrow. If I bow down because it overwhelms me, that's my failure. Whoa. All right, guys. I got to go. Um, I just missed an important phone call. This is the waking one. I'm sorry to cut the visit short, Toronto. Yep. Phone call. I'll take you guys later.